Hi, I'm Mel Sanson from Canellis, and this is B Music. B Music, Sydney here. We're here at the Brunswick in Hove as part of Making History Now. We're celebrating LGBT History Month with some of Brighton's best LGBT artists. We're in the Red Room with the B Music and we're celebrating LGBT History Month. And we're here with Elle Start. Hello, Elle. Hello. How's it going? Good, good. We're just sound checking downstairs. It's getting exciting. All the bands are sounding really good. Now, Elle is the mother superior of this particular event. Can you please tell me um, what moved you to get this role? Well, I'm a big supporter of LGBT History Month anyway, um, being a big gay and also loving gay history. Um, I really like to sort of support it and do something. And I uh, recently uh, made an album that was all about gay history of Brighton and Hove and stories, kind of pulled out stories and things that happened um, from our sort of dark and mysterious past here. Um, and uh, Vince got in touch, Vince Laws, who's a, a poet who used to live in Brighton. And he's, he was back, he said, what are we doing for LGBT History Month? And uh, there was kind of nothing happening. So um, one thing led to another, and he ended up um, starting a festival, basically an arts festival called the Be Right On Festival. And uh, put a call out to see who wanted to be involved. And uh, I jumped on it, jumped on the bandwagon. Um, it means a lot to me because um, Brighton has got such an amazing history, or, you know, obviously linked with um, being, you know, pretty much the gay capital of the country, if not Europe, controversial, I'll say it, I'll say it. And of course we have a fantastic gay pride now, but it's not always, you know, been the way. I mean, I've lived in Brighton for about 24 years now, and I've seen, I've seen the gay community pull together for events and amazing things happen and then things sort of drift away and it comes back together and I just think it's really important that we remember where we come from. Bottoms fall like raindrops, you're bound to get wet, so you better stay out of the rain. Now, um, I read on your website that so you describe yourselves as queer folk. How do you how do you distinguish um, queer folk from normal folk? I know you don't have a beard and you're not 65. Yes, I do have a beard, but I have got rid of it for tonight. <laughs> um, how do I distinguish? Well, um, I suppose in traditional folk music, there's a big, big, huge goes back millennia, doesn't it? Um, that, that folk music tradition was to sort of tell stories, what was happening in the news, that kind of thing. Um, and it's a way of kind of carrying oral history through for people who couldn't read. So uh, my kind of queer folk... We still can't read. We still can't read. So I thought I'd write down a lot of stories from history, but from gay history, from queer history. So I kind of say the queer folk thing because we're a, we're a gay band, um, gay musicians, and we play a kind of a brand of... Um, it's kind of modern, indie, slightly indie, um, but everything we do is, is gay, basically. And um, just tell us quickly, um, who else you've got in the lineup for tonight? Okay, uh, we've got a fantastic lineup. We've got Nikki Mitchell, who's um, a Brighton, fantastic, amazing jazz singer. She's just a tour de force of amazingness. Then we've got Ari Scott, who's quite sort of indie, indie rocker, but she's doing a solo set for us tonight. Um, then we've got um, Chez and Zora, um, who sometimes go out as We Are Bob, who are, they are tonight, and they're sometimes Zora and the Tatsmiths, and they've played at Brighton uh, Women's Performance Tent at Pride many times, they're fantastic. Uh, then there's us, the Al Stark Band, absolutely brilliant. And then we're topping off the night with Canellis, who are a, kind of a thrash metal, sort of punky metal band, usually, with uh, Mel Sanson, who you might talk to later, um, at the helm. And she's doing a really nice MTV Unplugged set for us. Cheers, Al. I hope it's going to be a brilliant evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Burn your brushes down along the ground and come me. Listen to nothing. Yeah.
me will Welcome to the Red Room at the Brunswick. Um, this evening, it's all about making history now. Hi. Hi. Hello, Cindy. How are you? I'm awesome. Thank you. Uh, Nikki is a jazz guitarist and a vocalist. Nikki, how is it um, rocking a jazz guitar as a woman? It's a very male-dominated uh, genre and male-dominated instrument. <laughs> I wouldn't call myself a jazz guitarist. I think uh, maybe I am. That's what it says on your website. Oh, yeah. Well, you know power of the egregore. So I think uh, you're right, it's a very male-dominated industry and one of the things that we've strove to do over the last 15 years with the Women's Performance Ten and with these kind of gigs is to give youngsters a space where it's not all just madly competitive all the time. And um, I, I believe you do a pretty decent blues turn as well. What kind of guitar are you rocking, Nikki? Yeah, I just have a standard Epiphone Sheraton uh, Joe Pass. It's quite a nice guitar. It's good because you've got twin humbuckers, so you can get a good jazz sound or a good blues sound. Either one. Right over my head, love. Twin what? You know, twin, <laughs> twin pickup things. <laughs> lots of knobs, lots of knobs. <laughs> and um, I've heard you online, and you uh, do a very good job of channeling Ella Fitzgerald. Uh, I wouldn't say Aga Ella. I can channel Nina, but that's a frightening experience. And if Judy comes through, don't give her vodka. <laughs> so tell me, um, what does uh, LGBT History Month mean to you? Well, you know, there's a lot of people, I think gay people have been in the world since the dawn of time. Since the ancients? Since, we've just, it's just how it is, nature's way, you know, some people are gay. I don't see the big deal. I don't understand why people get so weird about it either. It's so freaky to me. And I, I just don't get it at all. Um, and I think LGBT History Month is a way of making sure that people in the future can see that gay people have always been here. LGBT History Month mean to you? Uh, well, it's just it's a celebration of uh, all the performers and singers for LGBT history. Well, that's part of the window tonight, to see the music side of things. It's always good to have uh, good LGBT role models. So, yeah, it's a good celebration. I'm proud to be part of it. So you're going to be one of them now, a role model? So tell me about your band then, your group of merry players that you've yeah. gathered together here in Brighton. Well, we usually, um, we usually sort of more sort of hard rock, punk, grunge, and tonight we're doing like an MTV style unplugged set. It's a bit more chilled, a bit, you know, a bit more nice vibey kind of Sunday evening kind of feel to it. So yeah, it's going to be something different tonight, but I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, what kind of instruments do you have then? Because uh, I understand you describe yourself as a uh, rocker, but didn't I see a cello in there somewhere? Yeah, you did. That's part of the, uh, the unplugged thing that we're doing tonight. So, yeah, we usually our usual setups like bass, drums, electric guitars, and tonight we've got Josh on a uh, cello, which is awesome. So, yeah, I've always wanted to do a gig like this, to be honest. Um, I don't know if you've seen a lot of the MTV unplugged stuff, but it's nice to have some strings and you're going to strip down acoustics. So, yeah, it's going to be really good. So Mel, you're involved in uh, Brighton Pride, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the women's performance tent, which goes on in the park, showcases uh, female LGBT live performers. Um, that's going to be really good because every year we showcase like all the best, and um, it's a really good opportunity. And it's a really cool tent, and it's packed out, and it's just it's got a wicked atmosphere. So tonight's show is actually um, a fundraiser, so we got some more money towards that, so we can you know, get a bit better lighting and stuff. Like and if anybody wants to uh, perform at that tent, how can yeah. they go about it? Yeah, they can apply online. If they go, this is a bit of a mouthful, I didn't really think about this URL, but it's women's performance tent brighton.com. So if you go to women's performance tent brighton.com and then go to the About Us section at the bottom, you can apply there. So 
yeah, apply right now. And um, yeah, we're looking for talent and we look forward to the summer. It's gonna be